What are we gonna? Are we ready to talk about TikTok yet? The travesties of TikTok? No, this has nothing to do with TikTok. All right, let's talk about this real quick. All right, back on the TikTok. Okay. So we all know about TikTok, yada, 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 blah, 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 you do you, I'll do me. But I said, don't, I warned you, <laughs> don't say I didn't tell you about TikTok. Anyhow, so I was curious, like truly curious, why uh, both sides of the aisle was suddenly on board with banning TikTok. And I'm like, that is freaking unusual, because if you passed out, like, shillelies, you know, to the left and the right, they beat each other to death. They agree on nothing. So, I'm like, why is the, the left agreeing with a ban on this? You know, like, they went along with the right. I'm like, this, something is fishy about this situation. Okay, comes out today, in case, and you can go and look at this. Um, comes out today that the proposed ban on TikTok is not a proposed ban on TikTok. It is a total and utter takeover of the rights of the United States citizen. No BS involved whatsoever. What do I mean by that? Let me get across this street real quick. Um, everyone remembers the, the, the Patriot Act, right? I mean, not everyone, but if you don't, go research it. Now, what that did was it took away a certain level of rights from the citizenry. Um, it imposed a lot of surveillance on the citizenry. I mean, and they named it perfectly, the Patriot Act, because if you were against it, you weren't a patriot. Genius marketing, shout out marketing. Okay, this thing makes the Patriot Act look benign. That's why they all got on board so quick. I read this thing today, and I, it just made my ears bleed. It made my eyes bleed. So basically, what it says is, like, there's one line. Okay, let's ban TikTok. Okay, let's get on to the other 3,000 things they jammed into it. Um, okay, where do I start? If this bill passes, it gives the acronym agencies the right to monitor every single device you own including your TV including your phones including your ring doorbell including your laptops including your including your everything everything every single thing now you can say well they're doing that already no they're not I mean yes there is you know the carnivore program and things like that but that is based on uh, keywords you know, if enough of the same word that's on a list comes through, it'll trigger a red flag, and then it will, you know, but they still have to go and get uh, the appropriate warrants and all this other stuff, right? Okay. This, however, is, it doesn't include that doesn't include that whatsoever it, it has nothing to do with flagging it has nothing to do with keywords it is just an outright pants around the ankles on everything you do on and off line even in your bedroom like if your tv has uh you know a camera like a wee camera consider yourself doing <laughs> doing amateur corn because that's what's gonna happen. Your ring doorbells, your Alexa, your everything. Every device is gonna be monitored. Everything you do, everything you say, completely. Shout out Gogo. What up Gogo? So basically, your freedom is gone. Now, 
You say, okay, well, they've been doing that. No, advertising agencies and companies have been doing that for years, not the acronym agencies. Now, what's going to happen with this is, oh, okay, let me tell you a few more things. If you try to circumvent that by going through a VPN, automatic 20 years in prison. Automatic 20 years in prison. That's in the bill. So if you try to opt out, per se, by going through VPNs, automatic 20 years in prison. It's in the bill. Um, Freedom of Information Act, exempt. (laughs) So if someone comes after you or anyone else and you want to get a Freedom of Information Act to find out why, unavailable. It's exempt from freedom of information. Um, They can tag anyone at any time at their own discretion a enemy of the state and put you into a situation where you you're you're basically an enemy combatant and you are not entitled to a trial you're not entitled to due process or anything if they feel that you pose any type of threat or danger imagine this and it just keeps going it just keeps going and it'll be swept under the rug and it'll be well it's for your safety like every five words is for the safety of everyone else for the safety of everyone else for the safety what are you talking about this started out as a banning a spy app from a foreign entity (laughs) and now it's like the most invasive thing going Like, this guy's smartwatch, my smartwatch, is going to start reporting. Because it's two-way, you know? Whatever you can speak into is also a listening device. It's absolutely terrifying, you know? I I don't know what else to say about it. If that doesn't piss you off, I don't know what will. But everyone's just, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, according to who? According to you, perhaps, you're not doing anything wrong, but according... At some point, someone's going to say you're doing something wrong. You know, it depends, just depends who's in power at the time. You know? So every citizen in this country is basically... Um, how would I say? Under threat of persecution for anything. For anything. And no due process. You're basically just going to get disappeared. And it's it's right there in black and white. Go study it. Go read it. May I post the link in the Broad Nation Facebook group so you can read the entire thing for yourselves. It is absolutely frightening. And of course, it's not going to make the news or anything like that. But, all right. 415 people. Yeah, I mean, you know, everyone's like, well, they're doing it anyway. How much they have on you? Well, yeah, but advertisers are profiling you. Now, the government's going to profile you. You know, and you could be deemed, uh, just randomly deemed problematic. You know, like this whole thing about, oh my God, you know, how dare big corporations censor? How, How dare they censor the ex-president how dare they censor uh information about the uh the the thing in your arm and the thing over your face that's <laughs> that is nothing that's amateur hour you're talking about like the federal government and having absolutely no recourse whatsoever you just basically get disappeared if you're deemed Offensive in any shape, form, or fashion. Oh my god. So everyone's supposed to just toe the line. You know, watch what you say. Oh my god. Sort of like a black helicopter's gonna land right here and just like swoop me up one day. Last to see in a Harold. What happened? I don't know. Must have been that live stream the other night. It's absolutely terrifying, and people need to be aware of it. 
and if you brush it off, you know, God help you. <laughs> you know, because just be, you might be aligned with you know certain thoughts that are in agreement right now, but all it has to be is like a change of you know political sentiment, and then you're on the list. You know, Ugh. it's just it's it just irks the hell out of me. I mean, just the fact that they come out and say. Uh, 20 years, no probation, no parole, no due process, no nothing. They just grab you if they find you using a VPN, which a lot of people are. I have a VPN also because I like to browse anonymously, um, but it's for speed. It's for browser speed. Um, anyway, so yeah, so automatically they could just scoop you up and throw you in a hole for 20 years, which basically means the rest of your life because you disappeared at that point. Zero due process. That is actually a bill that's being bantered around right now. I mean, are we not ready for the asteroid quite yet? <laughs> you know, bring on that freaking asteroid because we're going to hell in a handbasket. Oh my God. And this is what everyone voted for. Supposedly, to be spied on in their bedrooms. It's like a really what? Uh, you know, what are they going to start deeming? Oh, you know, they're unconventional in the bedroom. Let's lock them up. <laughs> you know, what's next? Because they're going to be in your bedroom watching you. You got to be careful what you say. I mean, this is. Oh my God. Just study it. I don't want to beat the hell out of it, but just go study it, please, people. All right, let me catch up on chat. Uh, the current administration. That's why they're like, boing, 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 boing. <laughs> yay! You know, like, like. People wanting to, to ban TikTok was like a gift from heaven for them. What up? You know, because they never just stop there. You know, it just never stops at that one thing. It's like, okay, ban TikTok, but hey, while we're at it, let's watch them in their bedrooms. Make sure they don't say anything we disapprove of. And we were all bent about like the Twitter files, you know, what corporations are doing. This is this is our own government. You know? And the only reason they're doing it is because they they're they're freaking frightened. You know? They're frightened of like people speaking out. So they want to shut people down. I told you the other night about the new thing. Um, they're gonna consider news copyright information just like they do with me on music when I walk by. So if I speak on the news, they could copyright claim it and shut it down. That way you can't speak on the news. You know, like no um, alternate opinions other than what the mainstream narrative is. Freaking frightening days we're living in right now. And people are just like, whatever, a few, I got mine. Let's think about this a second. Just the fact that they're saying we'll monitor every device that you have. What is that telling you? Just you got to read between the lines on some of this stuff. What is that telling you when they say we're going to monitor every device that you have? And they listed them all. It tells you they already can. It's telling you they already can. They already have the uh, the capabilities. So that means that every electronics company at some point or another built a back door into either their software or their hardware to allow this to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts. So it's not like, well, you know, my ring doorbell I bought in 2000. It doesn't matter. There's a back door in it all. So that means there's already back doors built into everything. And you can say, no, yes. You know how that happens? I'll tell you how that happens. Because every one of them, from Samsung, I don't care what you say about how secure Apple is, they're on board too. 
You know, I mean, let's just face it, it's everyone. Um, in order to get government contracts or government favor on any level, there's something in that contract that says, hey, let's just put that little back door in there and we'll buy, you know, 50,000 of your laptops and 1 million of your phones and 10 million instances of your software. You just have to build this back door into it. Oh, freaking course. The fact that they're saying they, once this bill gets signed, it starts, means they already have the capability of doing it. So, yeah, you can go look that up. I'm not, I'm not like, pulling anyone's leg. I read it. It's out there. And, you know, it'll, it'll, it will pass. It will pass. No ifs, ands, or buts. It, it probably won't. It, like any other negotiation, you start out at the extreme. How much do you want to make an hour? 300 bucks an hour. You know, how much do you want to pay me? 50 bucks an hour. You know, it, they're starting points, you know, extreme starting points. That's just how negotiation goes. So they'll strip some of the jive out of there. But, so yeah, in some form or fashion, it'll pass. You know, but that's, you know, and, and it's not just pork. It's not just like, oh, let's do a bill to do this, that, and the other, and hey, let's stick something in there to, to build a bridge for fish, you know, in Wyoming. You know, it's not like that type of pork. This is just straight up evil. I'm going to go so far as to call it evil. It's just straight up freaking evil. And, I, and my radar was going off. I'm like, why is everyone on board with banning the TikTok? Because certain elements in our government love that it's a mental illness factory and that we're being spied on. They might even be complicit in it, you know? Yeah, harvest our citizens' data, go for it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.